Okay, a pretty simple part to create here for the miniature train. This is the linkage arm. We're going to start off drawing a rectangle and we're going to dimension its width to be 3.5 and the height to be quarter inch, 0.25. And then we're going to use the circle tool and we're going to add some circles at the end of each of the, the at the end of it, the rectangle on either side and uh, we're going to use the midpoint to locate them. So I'm building it right on that midpoint and go ahead and dimension their diameter. 0.1875 is the radius value we're given. We'll multiply it by 2 for the diameter that we need. 0.1875 divided or multiplied by 2. And we're fully constrained, so we can go ahead and finish that sketch. And we'll just extrude this shape. We have to choose all the shapes that we want to extrude. And the extrusion depth is going to be 0.125. Then we need to add some holes. So you can use the hole tool and use the concentric circle reference. And so we will choose this as the face and add a concentric circle right there. And we need to give it a diameter, excuse me, a, a depth is going to be through, through all, and a diameter of 0.128. We do the same thing on the other side, that hole tool and concentric reference and that references this circle and it is 0.128 diameter all the way through okay and there's your finished linkage arm it's the tutorial for the linkage peg it's the cylindrical part so we're going to draw a profile and then revolve it so using the drawings Information 0 0.0625, that's a diameter. I gotta divide that by two to build this part. And then I'm gonna come up a distance of 0.25. I'll dimension that later. Come out a certain distance. Use my arc to bring it from that end point to this center axis. Use the line tool, close the shape. And let's add those dimensions I didn't add when I was dimensioning or when I was drawing rather. Uh, 0.25 here and the overall height of the part is 0.325 and the radius of this arc is 0.1562 noted as the surface radius but that's all the information we're given we still have one dimension left well this is something that doesn't show you but if you play around with modeling it you'll figure out if you don't move that center mark of that arc right on the center line here it will not create a nice rounded top surface so that's all you have to do so we will oops not an extrude we'll revolve it right around that center axis and that's all you need to do for the linkage peg